When a person prophesies, there are a number of different ways they can prophesy. One way is a direct prophecy, like thus saith, but another way of prophesying is taking a first person point of view. In a prophecy, whether we're first person or second person or third person, whatever the case is, the prophecy can apply in either way. And we know that a lot of manuscripts, if you compare the manuscripts, sometimes you got like I, and then in the Septuagint, it would say we. And sometimes it would say him. And then in the other manuscript, it would say I. My point is when there is we, him, I, whether it's first person, second person, third person, whatever the case is, it changes. These different perspectives are interchangeable because in prophecy, there is no time. That's how prophets can actually prophesy of the future because the word of God is timeless. Prophecy is timeless. In that sense, it's like you're looking in the future or even in the present, where Paul actually says that if a person prophesies, comes into your midst, the secrets of your heart will be laid bare and they will fall on their face, worshiping, saying, truly God is among us.